time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Food prices continue to rise and consumers are feeling the pain to pay for their groceries. Problem solver Susan Hogan has more on what's rising and how you can take a bite out of your bill. You're checking out at the grocery store and you're buying really pretty much the same thing you do week after week, but you notice something on your bill. It's larger. Well, you're not seeing things. It's actually true. And it's all to blame on food inflation. Suzanne Wheeler Klein is mom to three hungry boys, and it shows on her grocery bill. I typically spend $300 a week. Recently, she noticed that some of her favorite foods are eating away at her budget. Cookies in the cookie aisle, crackers, those can be pricey. Cereal is also very expensive. These creeping prices are thanks to inflation, and you can expect your grocery basket to cost 3.5% more over the course of this year. Inflation is especially hard to swallow for meat and fish. The inventory of cattle and hogs in the U.S. was, re was reduced quite a bit, and now we have strong and growing demand for these foods. And that's a recipe for high prices, and there's no end in sight. But there are ways to fight back. Jessica Patel with Bankrate.com suggests trying a less expensive cut of beef or substituting poultry. You can get canned chicken now and canned fish and things like that, and even frozen fish and frozen meats that can wind up saving you more. Other categories hit hard by inflation includes fats, oils, cereal, bakery products, and packaged foods. To save dough, skip pre-portioned goodies and bag your own snacks. Also, look beyond what's at eye level. A lot of times if you're in a rush, you'll just grab it and go. You can look above or below that eye level and a lot of times find bargains and deals. Well, you can certainly boost your bottom line by buying in bulk, grabbing things that are in season, or certainly just going through the circulars and clipping those coupons. They certainly do save a few extra pennies. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.